birds tawag yun, i-text mo na yung mga tropa mo sa US. Yes. Yung mga bata mo. Oo, oh, yung mga bata mo, yung mga <laughs> tinuruan mo. <laughs> sina, sina Ray? Ray? Oo, oh, ang last name nun? Ray? Ray. Da, Ray Dapito? <laughs> yung, yung bata. Ang kaya na Ray Mysterio. <laughs> Ray Mysterio? <laughs> Abort yung ating mga yun. Yung suot ako, Ray Dali eh. Pero... Oh, ah, yeah. Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio. Pwede tayo dun. Pwede tayo dun. Hindi na naman pa yung Mysterio. Kung pwede lang. Kung pwede lang. Ikaw, Abort. Ang ating mga sa index. Uh, hold 8K. Yun. Pero sell on... Ako, oh, sell on strength talaga. Sa gantong market. Yun, pag nabasag 8-2. Baka pwede pa. TF. Yan talaga. TF. Okay. Pero pero sino mo kasi may laban din naman yung mga yung mga bulls din if if I'm going to force an argument for the bulls kasi kung isipin mo yung SM I think the all time high is 1100 oh, something diba so medyo may 5 to 7% ka pa from the high oh, okay. so medyo pwede pa siyang mag-push towards doon BDO is still um X percent from its all-time high, I think less than 10%, so that can push the index as well. I think you have issues like... Um, right, so it's yung SM, but if you look at the long-term chart, you can see it, right? So may all-time high sa 1,141. So I think that's from the level today, maybe ma 4%. 4% from the close yesterday. So, ano ba siya today? So, mga, so mga 7%, right? Yes. 5-7%. to So, you still have that. And then, uh, you have BDO. Usually, mga, ano eh, mga, so you have BPI as well, di ba? Na, na, medyo pangat ang yung galaw today. Pero, yun talaga yung, ano eh, yun talaga yung pwede mag-attack sa index. No. May sector ka bang? Nitignan, specifically? Uh, well, yung mga pinakamayayaman na sector <laughs> yung Ayala SM yun lang talaga nag a eh. in fact, if you want to ano, kung gusto nyo makakita ng leading indicator for the move that happened today uh, kasi one of the leading indicators na ginagamit ng mga technicians is called market breath breath market breath ibig lang sabihin yan is that, let's say for example, kahapon umakit ng 152 points ang index di ba? Oh. saya lahat, di ba? Pero kung tinignan mo, 152 points, if you open the hood and look under the hood, tinignan mo yung makin ng kotse. If you look yesterday, there were more decliners than advancers yesterday. Mm-hmm. So ibig sabihin nun, yes, nag-152 points nga kahapon. Pero yung mga naghatak lang ng 152 points, mga ilan lang. Oh, so marami, ng, marami ng mga nalalaglag. Like SM kahapon, up 6%. Oh. Right? So... And that was because I think foreign buying mga half a billion, ganyan. So, konti lang talaga yung naghatak kahapon. So, oh. in classical technical analysis, that's usually a sign of trend exhaustion. Ibig sabihin nun, let's say, pa-uptrend, uptrend na. Pero, yung uptrend niya is not, kumbaga, hindi siya widely participated oh. by a lot of issues. Pag, pag panaro na ng panaro, Ibig sabihin nun, pagod na, um, pagod na yung ano, pagod na. Ilan na lang yung mga kabahay na gata. Ah, no. yun pala yun. Oo, so that's actually something na, actually matagal ng tinuturo yun. Tapos uh, madalas siyang gamitin din ng mga, mga ano, ibang mga technicians today. So yun, kahapon. So that was actually the most interesting thing that I saw yesterday. The advancers versus decliners, 150 points. And then the key thing talaga was to really to look at the, the, um, how the market would react off resistance. So this morning we actually released a note to our to our subscribers to our community, and we said that um, while OGK only God knows what's really gonna happen next, ang sinabi talaga namin is kailangan mo tignan new resistance na yan and how prices would react kung susundutin ba niya, tutuloy ba siya, or will it reverse and go lower? Why? Because of the breath, and I think there was also a if you go back to the PSE, um, para sa mga divergence geeks dyan, so you actually had a 15-minute um, divergence on the RSI, right? 
which is actually something that I typically respect when it comes to my divergences, right? So you had a you had a very clear divergence over here in momentum. So you had declining breath. You had divergence in momentum. So that was really a um, so that was really a evidence for you to mentally prepare already on what can potentially happen on that persistence level. So Shepre, you don't want to act on those on the breath, on the divergence, on the important is you need to wait for price confirmation. Right? You need to wait for the market to commit to you before you actually commit to the market in terms of what your next move will be. Uh -huh. Whether it's magbabos ka ba, magdadagdag ka ba. So in this case, when the market started to turn around, and I think especially today that you have that bearish engulfing candle, um, I think probability short term is that maybe you might see more weakness, mm -hmm. perhaps. And ako, di, syempre, no one knows what's gonna happen next. Pero ako, titignan ko, you have a bearish engulfing candle. Tas, if I take a look at the U.S. markets today, U.S. markets, a lot of people are, are, are um, pretty much opining or, or sinasabi na na, all-time high in U.S. But if you look at the U.S., U.S. is at the major resistance. So you have that broadening megaphone for that S&P 500, for the Dow Jones. You have the, at least the terminal diagonal for that NASDAQ index. So, so, ang key ngayon is how markets really proceed from here. Because pretty much Philippines, U.S. is at major resistance levels. Eh. Andun eh. So, kung kaya mag-power through yung U.S. higher, then tutuloy din tayo higher. Mm -hmm. Pero if the U.S. maybe so, turns back down, then that might be a tail or a headwind for us. So, it, it really depends. But at least coming from two today, um, so yeah, that bearish and golfing candle, from a technical analysis, Japanese candlestick, Steve Mason, kung saan galing yung technique na yun, short term, it's only short term, mm -hmm. short term down, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning a few days. So it still remains to be seen what the overall big picture is. But at least every day, may mga added, added mga pieces of evidence na nakakuha ka that you can use to piece together to put in your, to, to at least strengthen or validate or, or at least form your own view on mm -hmm. what's gonna happen with the market. Yun. So okay, guys, okay. yun lang, no? Ang okay. dami natin tunan. Okay na yun. Tapos Good na night. tayo. <laughs> so, Grabe, alalim nun. Hey, gusto ko yung sinabi mo, ha, yung um, the market has to commit to you before you commit to market. Oh. Kasi oh, minsan, pag nag-commit ka, oh. tapos oh. hindi rin magko-commit sa'yo, ano? yun yung mahirap, pare. <laughs> <laughs> yun yung mahirap, pare. Nag-commit ka, all in. Mm -hmm. Tapos, hindi niyo magpukulit sa'yo. Okay lang yun, pre. Di ba? Yung mahirap, parang yung mahirap. Okay. Sa markets, ha? Sa ah, market lang. Ah, baka na ba kala mo? Kung market, market siya pinag-usapan oh, natin. Market. May gusto ko bang ikwento sa audience? Hindi, ah, hindi. Wala ko na. <laughs> ano tayo? Kwe kwento ang trailer tayo. Oh, ngayon. So, so yung mga requests lang nila. Para oh, okay. hindi ka na magkwento. <laughs> right, so maganda yung sinama na yun. That's actually not from us. I mean, you can credit it to us if you want but the real guy who said it was Mark Minervini I think that's from his book oh. right so he said that you actually wait for the market to commit to you before you actually commit to the market and ang napaka importante yun kasi so many people so many people act on <laughs> act on bias eh. act on what they think act think? on what other people think act on what other people say Act on whatever stories that are that they read in the newspaper. Act on stories that at least they read and research. When for me, one principle, one top, suro nga top three principle that's na talagang kailangan talaga sunda ng mga tao if they're going to learn how to trade this. You just have, really have to follow price. Meaning whatever view that you have, you need to wait for price to confirm that in terms of price moving towards that particular view before you actually act on it right so yun talaga yung importante kasi maraming tao the they jump the gun they no no na nila eh kumbaga wala yung patience or wala yung fortitude to actually um kumbaga wala yung EQ 
Oh. Walang EQ to actually wait for the for the actual trigger, right? So yun yung yun yung ano. So you wait for the ano. You wait for the market to commit to you. Kasi syempre, at the end of the day, it's price that pays you it. Oh. You're not there naman to be right or wrong. Eh. Kasi syempre, if you have a view and you're acting on your view without price coming in, essentially you're playing the right or wrong game. Eh. Gets mm-hmm. me. Say you want to know if your view is right or your view is wrong, whether in, in the form of price going towards your view or against your view. Eh. Oh. Correct? Shepard, what you want to do is you want to wait for price. You want to wait for price, validate or invalidate that view. And since lahat naman tayo dito, and dito para kumita ng pera, and of the day, it's not what you think that pays you, it's what, it's price that pays you at the end of the day. So you just follow price. Amen, amen. 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 Amen tayo doon. Javi Medina. Javi Medina, 2020. So guys, sige. Stock picks at the end of the day. Stock picks at the I don't know. Si F and I do F and I. F and I. F and I. Borge, dinaan natin kanina pero oh. ikaw. I did. Ikaw na have dinaan na namin to kanina. Ano tingin mo kay ano kay F and I? Dinaan na namin to kanina. Actually, ako sa tutolang <laughs> beto kay F and I ko sa 192, eh. 187, 188. Mm-hmm. So alam mo kasi prices would pretty much hold this resistance first mm-hmm. before actually turning down. Siyempre, hindi ko sinundan yung advice ko. Diba? Wait for the market to... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, at least pinost ko na setting dyan. Tapos, uh, I think 187, 188 siya. Tapos nandun, 186. And then, um, so, aha, akala ko, so, banda, banda dito siya eh. Banda dito ko siya binenta. Right? Kasi akala ko mag... mag mag turn down muna, tas mag tas mag retest, tas mag break out. And the reason why I did that was because akala ko, and when you back test it, 80, 70, 70, 80% of the time, you will see prices break out mostly on the third test of resistance. Mm-hmm. Meaning this is your first test of resistance, this is your um, second. second test of resistance, right? So. I think nakita din natin siya dito, eh, diba? You take a look at this resistance over here. You take a look at this, what people would maybe call a, a, a wedge, right? Kind of pattern. So you had a first test resistance, you had a second test, and then you had a third test here, and then starts to run up. So ito yung isa sa mga issues sa talagang, ang daming pera talagang pupasok. Eh. So I think it's UOB, yung talagang buibili ng ano. So ako talaga, UOB. Di ko na, di, di ko talaga alam eh. UOB Brian. UOB Brian. <laughs> Bado yung ah. <laughs> Kaya ako pa. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> oh. So, UOB. So, typically, ang ginagawa namin dito is we usually look at the FIB extension levels. So, which means that, um, let's say if I do this particular technique, right? So I think FIB extension levels niya. So I would maybe look at the following. Oh, yeah, tayo. Then, uh-huh. then, then. I would maybe look at the following. Uh, maybe the two point one three as the next possible resistance, right? So that would be ayan, two point the one point one three or maybe if we're going to include the. 1.272, right? So I would say this would be your next resistance, 2.13. But otherwise, you just want to wait for some form of a Japanese candlestick reversal before you actually decide to uh, say that go of the position. For example, parang ito, diba? So this would be an example over here. What do I mean? Ano yung gusto mo makita before you want to be able to consider setting the position? So, let's say you have, for example, an up move over here, right? And then you have a doji candle over here, which is an indecision candle. And then you have um, a red candle going down, right? So, I, th- I believe this is what they would call... Ano ba tawag dito? Alam niyo pa? 
Yung ano, di ba, yung Band- e- baby. An evening star, hindi ko alam. Evening star. Oo, oh, ba, tama mo. Oh, tama yan, tama yan. Si Borgie, si Borgie, nakakala mo. Right. So, this is what they would typically call an evening star. So, that's that's a, that's an example of a short-term signal. Okay. Right? So, you want to combine short-term candlestick signals that are along resistance that have divergences at the same time. Right? So, otherwise, um, kwarag, kwarag, for example, nagganito. Tapos pangalawang day, ganyan, nag-inside day, edi okay lang yan, di ba? Pero ayaw mo yung ganyan. So I would say, so for this particular pattern over here, the sell point would have been, let's say, this area. Once it breaks the low of the, low the, of the previous day, the low of the previous day, right? So so you have that, and then, uh, so yun, yun yung, that's an example of what you want to see. Otherwise, if you're holding on to it, um, hawak lang, right? Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things that we also teach that we taught our subscribers or community with respect to holding um, at least F&I and nickel would be um, also looking at the nickel futures, mm-hmm. right? So you have, well, I have a lot of Investagrams, but if you actually go to investing.com, just type in nickel, N-I-C-K-E-L, and you'll be able to see that nickel, the commodity, is currently consolidating in a correction, right? Or what in our community would be called a zigzag. So, shepre very important yung yung galodon relative to how F and I or nickel would move. Shepre, because F and I is a company that produces and sells nickel, and higher nickel prices or lower nickel prices would mean a higher price for whatever it mines to buy and eventually higher revenues, higher revenues. Mm-hmm. So yun yung ano? Yung tingin mo sa F&I? Huh? Teka! Yun yung... Yun yung... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Parang hindi ko na kailangan. Sa mga kumita ng buwan. Teka, sorry ha. <laughs> Daming ano eh. Kasi kanina ko pa kasi napapansin to eh. May isang comment kasi gusto ko, gusto ko sumingit. Oh. Sige, sige, sumingit ka na. Oo, oh, pero hindi. Ikaw magbasa, ikaw magbasa. Na, nagulat ako dito eh. May papa shout out eh. Yung lover boy ng ano ng PSE. Lover boy ng PSE. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi kanina ako gusto sumingit eh. Mm-hmm. Sila, oh, pa shout out daw si ano. Shout, shout out kay Ken Arcano. Lagi kay lover boy ba si Ken? Oh. Pare, matinik yun. Wala akong masabi. Matinik. Oh, yeah. matinik. Wala akong masabi. Borge, may tanong ko sa'yo. Ano? Tiga, tiga. Shout out kay Ken Arcano. Ah, okay. Pati kay Matt Flores. Ah, okay. 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 Pati kay Matt Flores. Ano favorite subject mo, Borge, nung bata ko? Sayat, sayat. 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 <laughs> <laughs> may tanong ba ako, may tanong ba ako. Bakit, bakit ma? Madali lang eh. Oh, madali lang? In, it's in the jeans. In the jeans? <laughs> ako may isa pa. Hindi, totoo yun. Kilala ko tatay nito eh. Okay. Accountant or finance controller tatay nito. Oh, grabe. Okay. Ba't hindi mo? Ano yung sa'yo, Burj? Ako may isa pa ako tanong, may isa pa ako tanong. Can you feel the love tonight? Wala, hindi nagpakita sa akin. Oh, wala, wala si Ken eh. Ken, can you feel it? Hindi nagpakita eh. Oh, si Ken, shout out sa'yo. Kung nasan uh-huh. ka man, sana masaya ka. <laughs> Ken, um, sarap ba yung ano, dinner natin? <laughs> <laughs> Yun, ito si Napid. Nagpapa ano yun, o- OJ number one. OJ number Open one. Open journal number one yan sila. Ayan. Open. Shout out kay Ansh Padilla. Yan, yan. Yan ang mga nakasakay ng FNI. Okay. Yan. Si Peds ba? Si Peds? Oo, oh, si Peds. Si Peds yan. Isang mahusay na trader yan. Peds. Oh. Right. Shout out sa mga Open Journal subscribers and members. Oh. Shout out sa inyo. Shout out sa inyong lahat. Kung anong may lilingkod namin sa inyo, sabihin nyo lang sa amin. Mm-hmm. So, tignan naman natin yung, ano, yung kapatid ni FNI. Kapatid ni FNI. Oo. Oh. Si Nickel Maboy. Nickel. Right. Uh, ate mo ay Nickel Boyd. Ikaw muna. Sige, sa... ikaw na lang. Ikaw, ikaw muna. Para <laughs> lang. Maiksi lang sasabihin namin eh. Oh. <laughs> sa akin yung ate sa ano ko sa indicator. Nag-hold pa siya sa MA ko. Ano MA mo? Basta. Basta? Oh, ayaw oh. magpabase ng ano, techniques. Oh, ayaw mo pa sabi ko. Sige. <laughs> <laughs> Mahirap. Ang dami eh. Sige. Ah, Basta yun, okay. nag-hold pa sa akin. So, pag- so nag-hold yung 20 day? Around Tama. 50. 50. 50 day yan? Oh, 50. 50 day Emma. Okay. Mm. Ako tingin ko, okay pa to eh. Pa itong area na to. Parang nag-ano lang oh. siya. Gap. Feel. Oo, oh, parang nag-feel the gap lang. So, oh. as long as above 
390. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Ah, ganun. Tapos oh. cut ka below 390. Oh, mga below 380. Oh, yun yung cut ko. So, pag sundot ko below 380, tapos nag-buy ako. Kakat. Hindi, 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 Wala akong nickel. Okay. Next naman. Ito si X daw, si X. Ayun. Wow. Si X. Ito, grabe ito, biglaan. May X ka ba? Ako? Hindi, yun sa stocks, ha? Wala ka. Ay, ha? Ang ano ko, habi kinakausap mo, eh. Wala akong ex para, hindi ko nga ito tinitignan, eh. Mm. Gabi si ex. Ang oh, tema ko, ex Borgi. Bakit, bakit ba siya nag-spike ngayon? Hindi ko din alam. May, ano? I mean, ano, may binili sa US. Ah, may, bin, may in-acquire sila? Oo, oh, may in-acquire. Ah. Tama ba yun? Hindi ko alam, eh. <laughs> tama, tama, tama ba? Tama ba? Honestly, hindi ko alam. Kasi... Wala siya sa trading cup eh. <laughs> Dero ko lang. Hindi mo na ako, hindi mo na ako kasali doon. Pero, daw. Pero, um, ako, matagal ko nang, just looking from a technical point of view, this is what a lot of people, um, uy. Uy, doble. Doble. I'm seeing two. So, I think, uh, so you have low, lower lows, and lower lows over here. Lower low ba siya dito? Oh, lower low siya. Then, ito hindi na yata dito eh. Pero the idea is, is that I think you have a very nice weekly divergence here over here, right? Oh. So, kita mo yan. Right, so, if you look at the if you look at the weekly chart so that's actually, um, for me, very interesting chart, especially with today printing a volume of, I think, 48 million. 48 million ba siya today? 50M. Oh, malapit na sa 50. Almost 50M, which is a volume that we haven't seen, uh, that we've only seen twice, pretty much. Since ano pa? Since February. Uh, oh, three times this year. Three times this year, diba? So, every time there's a big volume spike, I've always been taught that the question that you need to ask yourself is, is it accumulation or is it distribution? Right? So, obviously, you just have to turn to what the chart looks like, kung accumulation or distribution, and more importantly, what the news was. Right? Oh, hindi ko kabasadong news. Um, from what I understand, I think ilan years na negative yung earnings. No. And then I think it's only the past few, I think it's only this quarter, the past few quarters that you're seeing, not positive, but at least yung, yung negative earnings tapering, whether that's a trend, syempre, si gandang mahalam nun, di ba? So, um, so yeah, so ako, for me, it looks, it looks attractive, right? Attractive. <laughs> so, oh, yung past na volume spikes niya kasi. Next day, parang binabagsak lang din. So, let's see tomorrow kung anong gagawin oh, niya. So, para make or break na bukas. Oh. Siyempre, hindi mo bibili na agad pag nag-spike. Oh. Tingnan muna natin. Sabi nga, hindi mo siya bibili sa open. Ito yun. <laughs> let, let the market commit to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nag-amit ako. 